Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking again about iOS 15.4. Now this update just keeps amazing me. It brings a lot to iOS 15 and in my opinion is the biggest update to iOS 15 which will actually be a game changer. Now of course iOS 15 started kind of slow but with iOS 15.2 and now with 15.4 Apple has brought some major new features to iOS and this one is actually really big. So in this video, we're going to talk about this new update to iOS 15.4. We have some new features to talk about, which are really important. And of course, all about next beta and the public release of iOS 15.4. Let's start things off with the size of the update iOS 15.4 beta 2 came at my device right here at around 800 megabytes. That's what I got here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Of course, this size will be different on different devices and it will also change based on which software you're currently and from which software you're updating to iOS 15.4 beta 2. If you're on iOS 15.4 beta 1, then it will be a much smaller size. If you're updating from iOS 15.3, then it should be a lot bigger. And this right here is the build number for iOS 15.4 beta 2 is 19E 5219E and that's of course the build number for this beta which indicates that probably we will see another maybe three betas and then the RC version before this gets released to the public. Now let's go ahead and talk about this update. One thing that I have noticed with updating my device to beta 2 and another device to beta 2 is that the welcome screen should now be standard for all devices when you're updating. Now this really beautiful welcome screen showed up on the early beta stages of iOS 15 but it wasn't consistent. I never got that screen on any any of my devices I got it only once previously I believe but now it looks like Apple is making that standard for updates on all devices and I got that on both devices when I updated them to iOS 15.4 beta 2. This is just a beautiful welcome screen and of course a change to your experience when updating your iOS device and it looks actually really really cool. One of the biggest features of course of iOS 15.4 was the ability to now unlock your device with the mask on. There is a feature of course that allows us to do that on the iPhone 12 and newer by enabling it from the settings but you can see now this is new as well when you're not really looking down at your phone it will ask you to actually look down in order to unlock so it requires to have like full focus on your eyes in order to unlock your device with a mask on this will show right there on your lock screen when you're trying to unlock your device with a mask on and going to the settings here let's just quickly jump here to face id and passcode with iOS 15.4 beta 2, what I have noticed is that when I try to unlock my device with a mask on, it actually works really, really fast way faster than beta 1. This has improved a lot and of course it should. This is a great great feature to have even though I believe this came in really late. Apple should have implemented this feature a long time ago but with beta 2 it's actually a big big improvement from beta 1 on the speed side of course of things. It unlocks your device really really fast and you won't actually notice any difference on the speed when unlocking your device with face ID with a mask on and without a mask which is really good. Another small change here is when you go to add glasses, it will show here a text basically explaining what this does and this has actually changed. It used to be a different description on iOS 15.4 beta 1 and now is a different one with beta 2. And now let's talk about the biggest feature in my opinion, the biggest feature of iOS 15.4 even bigger than the ability to unlock your device with a mask on and that's the ability to tap to pay on the iPhone. Now this was a feature of course on the iPhone you could pay simply by just reaching with your phone that's really really great but now it will bring the ability for actually businesses to accept payments on their iPhone without having to have any other hardware any additional hardware whatsoever. All they have to do is have their iPhone. The iPhone XS or newer will be able to actually receive now payments without any additional things at all. All you have to do is basically put your phone next to their phone and they will be able to actually accept payments as easy as that. So now not just pay but also accept payments with tap to pay on iPhone. That's a big big feature of course a game changer for iOS and for all maybe smaller businesses and stuff like that they use tap to pay that will be really really huge 
they can just accept payments as easy as that. Another fix here with iOS 15.4 Beta 2, the share play button which now has been added with iOS 15.4 to pretty much anything here on Spotify I can go ahead and share play from here. Now this used to be all the way here on the side and now it has been fixed and it looks much much better. Another fix that Apple has done is the ability to actually have access to your wallet on the lock screen without having to unlock your device. Now let's just quickly jump here to face ID and passcode. I don't know if this has happened to a lot of people, it has happened to me, but even though I had wallet here enabled, I still had to actually enter the passcode or just unlock with face ID from the lock screen to have access to the wallet. Now this has been fixed and of course you will be able to just go straight to the wallet without having to enter a passcode or face ID. Now it looks like Apple is not just working on new features on iOS 15.4, they're also working on performance and with 15.4 beta 2 it looks to be a bit better. So if we go to the history right here you can see I have my tests that I have done right here. This one is from beta 1, we have the other one right there from beta 2. Now taking a look at the scores here, beta 1 single core score 1593 while we have 1582 just a slight decrease there with beta 2 but you can see right here on the multi-core score we have quite a big improvement so we have 4261 on the multi-core score while it was 4152 so more than 100 points improvements right there on the multi-core score for ios 15.4 beta 2 which is actually really really good moving on and talking about releases now as i said at the beginning i believe there will be probably another three betas and then the rc version of iOS 15.4 before it gets released to the public. Now Apple probably will move on weekly updates from now on because the first beta was released two weeks ago, then beta, the second beta after two weeks of course, but now they should move to weekly updates and we should see another beta coming next week. It will probably be on February 15th or 16th. These are the two dates that Apple usually releases software updates that will be probably Tuesday or Wednesday and then we will see a few more betas right here until March 8. That will be the day that Apple is holding a virtual event for the new iPhone SE and I expect Apple to actually release probably the RC version if not the final version of iOS 15.4 but if they just go ahead and release the RC version on March 8th then you can expect the final version to come the, at the beginning of the next week of the March, probably on the 14th or 15th or of March. But in my opinion, if they don't release the final version on the 8th, then you can expect it to come on the 14th of March. That's the day that most likely we will have iOS 15.4 on our devices with all these big new features that actually are game changers. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to be updated with the latest news regarding iOS 15.4 and all the cool new updates from Apple. Make sure to subscribe and of course leave a like on this video and I will see you guys on the next one.